I want to do an example of looking at population dynamics using a Leslie matrix. This Leslie matrix represents the dynamics of some population with three distinct age classes. And for simplicity, I am going to call those age classes. We're going to have our babies, juveniles, and adults. And I'll just use the letters B, J, and A to represent those populations. So if this Leslie matrix is telling me how those populations are evolving over time, then I know that if I'm given an initial population, or rather the initial population distribution of babies, juveniles, and adults, so let's call that B naught, J naught, and A naught. If I perform matrix multiplication, the result is going to tell me how these populations are going to be distributed after one time period or one cycle. So looking at my matrices, so here I've got a three by three matrix and a three by one column vector. These inner dimensions match, which tell me that yes, I can compute that matrix multiplication and the outer dimensions tell me the size of the result. So my result will be another three by one column vector. So let's look at what happens here. So in our first row, if I take this first row times this first column, I'm going to get five times B naught plus seven times J naught plus 1.5 times A naught. In my second row, I'm going to have 0 0.2 times B naught. 0 times J naught and 0 times A naught. And in that last row, I'll have 0 times B naught, 0.4 J naught, and 0 A naught. Well, another way to get a handle on what's happening in this situation is to think about this playing out right here. Our result is the distribution of our lower age class individuals after one time cycle, our juveniles after one time cycle, and our adults after one time cycle. So if I think about here are those babies, the juveniles, and the adults, this equation has told me that the way that I get my number of babies after one cycle is I'll have five times the number of babies currently. So essentially we have like a feedback loop back in here of five times. Each of my juveniles is producing seven new babies and each of my adults is producing 1.5 new babies. Looking at that second row, I know that my juveniles, or sorry, yeah, my next year's juveniles, they're coming from last cycle's babies. So this tells me that only 20% of those babies survive to become juveniles. And then this bottom row tells me that 0.4 or 40% of those juveniles survive to become adults. So we can diagram this, we can write a Leslie matrix, but ultimately what we want to do is see what happens to our actual population and to the distribution of our population, of our age classes in that population over time. So suppose rather than some arbitrary B naught, J naught, A naught, I actually give us a starting population. 
Suppose that we start with 1,000 of our age class zero, or I labeled them babies for simplicity. So let's say that we start with 1,000 of the youngest um, age class in this population, no juveniles and no adults. Well, after one breeding cycle, again, we're just looking at that matrix multiplication, but after one breeding cycle, we're gonna end up with 1,000 times five plus seven times zero plus 1.5 times zero. For our juveniles, we'll end up with 0.2 times 1,000, so that should be 200 plus zero plus zero. And for our adults, well, let's think about this. Our babies can't jump straight to being adults, and we started with no juveniles. So I'm expecting to have zero adults after one cycle. Let's see if the math works out. So I'd have zero times 1,000, that's zero. 0.4 times zero, also zero, zero times zero. Good, math made sense. So this is our distribution after one time cycle. So if I wanted to get my distribution after two time cycles, this becomes my new input. And we do the matrix multiplication all over again. So let's set this up. So I've got 5, 7, 1.5, 0 0.2, 0, 0, 0, 0.4, 0. But now my input vector is right here at 5,200 and then 0. So move this 1.5 up, give myself a little bit more space to write. So now if I want to know how many babies we have after two cycles, again, I'm using our matrix multiplication here. So I'll have 5 times 5,000, so I'm at 25,000, plus 7 times 200, so uh, 1,400, and 1.5 times 0. So if I was doing the math right there, I think that's going to get me to 26,400. Now for the number of juveniles after our second cycle, I'll have 0.2 times 5,000. So that's 1,000 plus 0 plus 0. So 1,000. And this time we do have some juveniles that are going to grow up to be adults, so I am expecting a value for our last row. So we'll have 0 times 5,000 plus 0.4 times 200, so that's 80 plus 0. Now if I wanted to know the population after three time cycles, I repeat this whole process again by taking our matrix and multiplying it by our new age distribution. So this is one of those things that computers do really, really well. And we're going to develop some tools so that we can do this faster ourselves.